Welcome everybody to the channel, Napster here bringing you another Eden run. We are on the precipice of a 20 win streak here. So let's get right into it and let's get this win. Starting off with the Curse of the XL and C today if you'd like to play along is WPZ9 GNZT. Starting off with Holy Water, if we take damage it breaks and does something. Can't even remember what it is. Terrible tears rate, terrible damage, okay shot speed, uh, subpar movement speed and good range. We're also starting off with the Satanic Bible, which gives us soul hearts, uh, demon hearts, specifically every six charges. So we're, we're we're bailed out a little bit by the fact that we have the Satanic Bible. If we did not have that, we'd be in a really terrible position. Starting off with one red heart and one soul heart, that can be a really scary place to be. With bad damage and bad tears. This is, I think when we, the holy water breaks, does it give you a tears up? I can't remember. So if you take damage, I think you get a tears up. You get something. Whoop. Let's not take damage and find out until we absolutely have to. There we go. Let's not get clipped by this champion specifically. Our range is good enough that we can out we can outrange most mobs at this point. So that is a is one advantage of having bad tears. With with good range. You can at least chip fire from a ways away. And it is a curse of the XL. We did find the boss rooms. But we need to get the item rooms as soon as possible. So the curse of the XL means that we have two bosses on this floor, two item rooms. Um, this is probably the best time to get curse of the XL, honestly. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna go fight the bosses actually now that I think about it. Because we're going to be able, first off, we're going to get an orbital, which is perfect. We're going to be able to secure our deal with the devil. The only problem is we don't have a whole lot of help at the moment. We just have to do it off our base stats, which are not good, as we've talked about. So that's the, that's the issue here, but we are going to get an orbital once we beat Famine, and that should help us greatly in our next boss fight, whoever it is. Hopefully it's not Ragman or Haunt. That's the, that's the real hope here. As long as it's not Ragman or Haunt, we should be okay. Hopefully it's Pin. Pin would be perfect. I want to secure our Devil Deal, so I don't want to take damage on the rest of the floor, even though we have an HP generator. It's just safer if we just do the boss right now. As you can see, it's taking us a very long time to do adequate damage to chip away at family here. And his Fly Followers do not help. If we had Piercing Shots, that'd be great, but we do not. We're just going to have to slowly chip away. Luckily, it's not a uh, champion famine. Whoops. A hit there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's right. Holy water is just pretty much useless because it creates, like, a water trail on the ground that makes it slippery or slows enemies, something like that. So, yeah, holy water is pretty useless. I'm thinking of milk that gives you the tears up when you take damage. Whoops. Didn't mean to take that, but at least it gave us... The black heart effect, that's excellent. Monstro is a good boss to have. So we can chip away a cube of meat pretty easily. Cube of meat's gonna do a lot more damage than we're going to be able to. Whoops. Okay, so it does a little bit of contact damage, it looks like. Not utterly useless, but pretty close. Mahab the freaking void. I wish we would have taken we would have waited until after. Because then we'd have a red heart upgrade now, but. Unfortunately, we didn't. So we, if, we, if we would have gone in there with one red heart, it would have cost us the same as going in there with two red hearts. So now we're down to one half HP, which is fine. We're okay with that. I should have used the Temperance Machine before taking that Devil Deal. We've gotten some free money. So I'm just gonna use Ma of the Void here. We did get a damage up from Ma of the Void, so that's excellent. There we go, Satanic Bible will bail us out. We're just looking for our item rooms now. Before I do that, I'm going to go get this full charge so we don't waste any charges. Because we need all the HP we can get. So Mile of the Void is going to help us out dramatically. Now we don't have to rely on our tiers. Uh, with uh, upgrade and damage, now the Brimstone Ring of Mile of the Void is going to do even more. And barring last the last episode we have Mile of the Void where it just wasn't paying out with Soul Hearts for some reason, we should get Soul Hearts fairly frequently every time we kill an enemy with the Mile of the Void Ring. So... Go looking for some enemies to kill so we can get some demon hearts. 
we should be pretty sure to on creating HP for ourselves now. Between Ma of the Void and the Satanic Bible, I'm absolutely going to keep both of them unless something much better comes around. Okay, this is this is perfect for Ma of the Void here. And again, just not paying out. This is very odd. I hope the, the item hasn't just bugged out completely in the game. Maybe in my game specifically, that'd be awful. Um, won't be able to move these barrels. I would like to get that money. Hopefully, we can get a hanged man card. Man, this is this is wacky. Still not seeing any demon hearts spawn from Mob the Void. Killed a lot of enemies so far. This range, excellent speed and range. I will take that for sure. A huge speed up, a six point six speed up is amazing. That shores up a lot of our issues here. Okay, broken onk is fine, but we don't have a bomb, and I wouldn't use it on that anyway. Eh, leprosy's fine. We had that as our starting item last video, I believe. I don't think there's anything else we can do, so... Yeah, let's we'll head on down. Been a little disappointed with Ma of the Void not paying out lately, but... I have faith it's gonna step up to the plate. Be a big-time player here. Let's head on down. Okay, let's check out the mob trap room just in case. Not worth it. Um, again, if we can get flying of some kind, a hanged man card, this would be very good. Because that's, yeah, that's almost always counterfeit penny there. But we need some HP. Come on, Mob the Void, help me out here. You're supposed to be one of the best HP generators in the game. Aside from, like, Serpent's Kiss. Serpent's Kiss probably is. Or the virus. Virus is incredibly good, too. Uh, Mysterious Candy. I think this has a chance of us spawning poops. Whoops. Didn't mean to take a hit there. That's okay. That's the, the danger of using Mod of the Void on these kind of enemies. Let's just pop this. I don't want to come all the way back for it. Just sacrificing one charge, which is not a big deal. Um, this is... I'm gonna make a good play here, I think. <coughs> Hopefully it's a good play. No, nope, not a good play. Because it didn't even finish paying out, but luckily we got a nickel out of it, so... Soul Heart for a nickel. Sure. Sure. It's fine. Ugh, that's not good. Want to get the Brimstone Ring when it's, when it's fully pulsating like that hit the enemy. Otherwise, we're just risking taking damage. There we go. Finally a payout. And a full charge. We'll give us two HP there. Perfect. Ma the Void. Thank you for not sucking this time. <laughs> I guess it just didn't want to pay out last time. I guess the percentage, it just never clicked. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. See, by the time we can get four, five, five and a half shots off. Uh, wow, speed and shot speed. Excellent. Yeah, Mysterious Candy, if we hold the charge button, we hold the fire button, I mean, uh, we can get the... We get uh, poops to appear behind us randomly. Yeah, so in five and a half shots of our normal tiers, we can get... Uh, a mob void. So really, mob void is is just a much better way of dealing damage. Our DPS is definitely not high enough to warrant not using mob void. We're just gonna be able to kill enemies much quick, much quicker if we're just using mob void instead of our tears. Whoops! Didn't let it charge all the way. That's unfortunate. Okay. Satanic Bible, thanks for helping us out. Mob the Void slacking off. You help us out. There we go. Say I should have to say slacking off, and Mob the Void picks up the pace. Appreciate it. There is a tinted rock here. Almost missed it. Perfect. Two HP. Now we're really sure it up. We've got really good. With Mob the Void, we've got really good uh, stats. We don't need the big time tears ups and everything because we can just do this. We have a an orbital especially that's gonna help us out a lot. 
Yeah, and Bighorn's just too slow on his respawn. Wow, get another Devil Deal. Tears up and a shot speed. Wow, this is exceptional. And I don't want any of the either of these, so it's fine by me. Get a dime out of the fire, though. Okay, this incentivizes me to go to the store, which I'm not convinced it's, is right there. I think that's actually a library. So I'm going to finish exploring this floor. Okay, it is. This floor. It was just very close to the, the spawn room, so I was, I was trepidatious of that being an actual store there. I figured it might be something else, but it's not, so we're going to go check out the store here. A uh, hive mind, absolutely. I think that's good. Maybe I'll buy a bomb. Yeah, let's buy a bomb and a soul heart. Perfect. This next floor really picked up. It was third floor. I was going to say second, but I was like, I don't think it's the second floor. It's not. Third floor really picked up, just in case it's petrified poop. So now we're in a really, really great position with a 10 tier delay now. We're at average tiers, really great shot speed, great movement speed. Maybe just a touch too fast, but I'm okay with that, that speed there. Especially for all the shot speed upgrades we're able to get. Um, yeah, we're in, good, we're in a good spot. This is absolute, absolutely prime real estate for Mob the Void. As you can see, it's able to pay out quite a bit for us. Get two full demon hearts out of that. Uh, nothing in here that really interests me. Let's keep on going. This turned from, this turned, uh, this went from I'm worried about us living, and luckily we have the Satanic Bible, to, wow, we have nearly full HP, incredible damage capabilities of Mob the Void. Um, we're moving quickly now, we have good stats. Like, at this point, we have good stats, if not above average stats overall. That's really excellent. Our tears rate is the only thing that's still average. Everything else is above average. Perfect. So we're just cruising around, looking for that item room, looking for the shop. Oh, got a little bit too close. That's okay. Mushroom cloud from the, the gas cloud from the mushroom there. Damage that mob, poison him over time. Really excellent. Oh, here we go. I appreciate a lot of the comments. I've been seeing more comments recently um, with people. Uh, in the comments below, I really appreciate people engaging with me and asking me questions. I appreciate it when people are. Uh, I, I've seen a, one or two comparisons to Sinvicta. I appreciate that. I'm not trying to copy his model at all. He just inspired me to uh, start making YouTube videos because I really liked his content. And I don't have a really good face cam or I don't really know how to make that work. So I, I, don't, I do the same kind of things that Sinvicta does with his Isaac channel. But uh, I, I know that I'm a far cry from anything that he can do. So I'm, yeah, I, I'm just trying to to model my channel after him and then try and decipher, uh, make it, put it aside from what Sinvicta does and make it my own thing. Try and make it unique. And I hope that, oh, whoops. Ugh. I hope that a lot of people are enjoying the content. I, I'm seeing more people, like I said, comment. I'm seeing lots of likes. I'm seeing way more views on my videos. That is exceptional, so thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate it. Now, with Mom's wig here, we have, uh, we have um, a way to generate spiders, and we bought Hive Mind on the last floor, which makes our spiders and flies much bigger, do more damage. So this is a really good combo. Um, I didn't find the store on that last floor, and I didn't really want to look for it. So we're gonna we're gonna go for the store on this one. Hopefully that last <laughs> last floor was like a greed fight or something. Uh, but we have some really good items now. We're in a really good position. I was afraid that Isaac was going to throw some kind of curveball at me on this, on this, uh, on this attempt for the 20th win. It always seems like it does. The D6, I believe that's a global D6. So if we go into the item room and we don't like what we see, we can just walk into that room and it'll re-roll it. So this is an exceptional opportunity. I believe it re-rolls the boss items too. I don't think it works in the shop or with the devil deal, or angel deals, so... 
Yeah. If we don't like that and remind them, we can get a reroll. No, we're gonna get spun and the virus. Actually gave us, oh, I was gonna say, usually that gives you a speed down, but when we got spun, it gave us a speed up to counteract the speed down, so we got a slight speed up overall. Spun's gonna give us a big damage boost. It's our third syringe item. Mysterious Candy actually helping us out there. That was kind of interesting. All right. Yeah, we don't. We definitely didn't want to have to. We didn't want to reroll uh, getting a damage up and everything there. So um, I will buy the Bible just because it contributes toward the bookworm transformation. Uh, but we don't need it. We definitely don't need it for uh, for insta killing mom or anything. Well, that's about right. <laughs> We have enough damage and we have we have the items we need to to kill mom and mom's heart adequately and the satanic bible is just safety i appreciate safety much more than i appreciate offense typically which is a funny statement because i don't go for angel deals hardly ever uh, range up's fine oh wow the pact that's a huge damage up and will give us back our soul hearts we're gonna have full demon hearts now now I'm a little bit tempted to take the Bible. Hmm. Just because of the flying capability? Uh, but you know what? I'm confident that we don't need it. And that we'll find flying somewhere else. And that, again, the HP generation, the security is just more valuable, I think. So I'm gonna use this here. Perfect. Now we're down to Polaroid Invincibility once we get it. And again, for the 20th win, I'm just going straight safe. I'm not going for any victory laps today. We're just getting that win. Ultra Pride will drop the left hand, which is an excellent pickup for us. He always does. Left hand turns all chest drops into red chests like this. Which improves our chance of fighting guppy items, as well as soul hearts as well as teleporting us to Devil Deals. Exceptional item here. I think, or trinket, excuse me. Left hand's one of the best trinkets in the game, hands down. I used to not like it, because I used to like, I was like, well, uh, golden chests are just better than every other chest, but not always. In fact, red, red chests can be extraordinarily valuable because of their potential to give you Devil Deal items for free. I'm gonna black heart bomb in here, use this, and then get the charge. There we go. So I can maximize using your HP generator. Oh boy. Eat this. Despise this room, that's for sure. Well, the pack gave us a huge tears up. That's why our tears are just kind of balling out of control now. Seven tier delay is not crazy, but it's a far cry from 15 where we started. So yeah, I could you could say that this is an easy, an easy win for us. We started off very sketchy. 2 HP, an HP generator, but no real good stats. And now we are on to like a one run, an easy one run. I don't even mind going just running in, especially now that we have the virus. We're nearly guaranteed to get an HP every time we get hit. Uh, lards, that's funny. Not taking lard. It would slow me down a bit, but 8 inch nails is way better. Now we're gonna do a lot more damage. The only thing I don't like is that tactile sound when it hits. I'm not a big fan of that. And the knockback is a little wonky. Cool, HP if we need it. Which we shouldn't, but. <coughs> Excuse me. Two of spades. Um, with the two of spades, I will check these out. Again, just in case they're guppy items, or Pandora's box even. Bunch of money. We're on depths two now, so we, we want to look for a teleportation card. In fact, I'm going to go back to this card locked behind this after getting the two of spades. It is a fool card. So now we can get a boss rush for free. That's exactly what we want. We'll check out the shop first. Perfect. Mama Mega will get us into the shop for... or into boss rush for free. Um, but... No, that's okay. I don't think we, we don't need it. Starter deck is what we need. That's what I wanted. Ace of hearts. 
gonna roll just go for a half cent a half price premium item maybe blank card and the compass okay i'm very intrigued by that so i'm gonna go find boss rush i'm gonna go find the boss room so we can go into boss rush and then we're gonna teleport out of there and then we're gonna come back and try and buy blank card and the compass probably go for a uh, blank card first as good as the compass is if we get an emperor card it's game over it was game over a long time ago but that would make it a quick game over which i'm all about whoops missed that last hit there we go take the pole right here um use gaze of hearts why not uh gimpy sure buddy yeah, you come with me. And we'll warp out of there. The fool. Full card will teleport us back to the beginning. So now we're just looking for money. We have the HP, so I'm going to check out the cursed room. Oh, justice card. Again, if this is an emperor card, oh boy. One of these is an emperor. That's what we need. Oh my goodness. Hierophant, though. Judgment. It's a demon judgment. Perfect. Because we have the Polaroid Invincibility. There we go. If I would have been, if I would have maximized my my usage here with the Polaroid, I could have gotten six taps without getting, without taking more damage, but it's okay. We can go pretty hard on this. There's lots of HP around here. Okay. Another card. An Acid Baby is not good. <laughs> Um, okay, let's go through here, I use the Satanic Bible, there is, good, there is an arcade, and I believe there's a temperance machine in there, so we can do this, we can also go pretty hard here, because we have Polaroid, so now we should be able to get um, both items that we need. So now we have an, even another HP generator with the Hierophant and Blank card. This is exceptional. We can go pretty hard again. I'm not worried about us dying because we have plenty of HP on the ground. We have plenty of ways to generate more HP. Last one. That'll be good. Just enough. Perfect. Um, okay. Soul Heart here, Demon Heart here. Probably use the Justice card. This is tough. Let's go Compass. Justice. Let's use Blank card Justice. We'll use it twice. Get some more money and some bombs. PhD is interesting. I want to buy this card, but I don't, we can't yet. Again, I'm looking for uh, Emperor. If we can get an Emperor card, then I will... I mean, I th I'm, I'm almost certainly going to take the blank card over the Satanic Bible at this point with all the HP generation that we have. Um, if I want an Emperor card real bad. So, I'm going to go back to the... I'm going to go back to this real quick. Tap it a couple more times. Yep, there we go. Ivy bag. Oh, Ivy bag doesn't... There we go. That's fine. Just need five cents. For some reason, we got a charge on our blank card for using using the blood with the IV bag. That's weird. And let's go. Devil card's fine. No big deal. So now we have HP generation with the Hierophant, which is going to give us two soul hearts every four charges, which is ultimately much better than the Satanic Bible. And don't forget, we still have Mob the Void. We have Gimpy if we take damage. Um, we have the virus. Oh boy, yeah, we're we are just fine in the HP department. 
You know, after taking all that damage intentionally to get money, we're, we're safe. Left hand's helping us out here as well. More cards. Hermit card and temperance. Don't need temperance. Don't need the hermit, really. Actually, I'll take the hermit, just because it's... Now that we're past... Um, floors of the shop, now the hermit will just take us to a random place on the map. Which can be valuable. Especially with blank card. If we go into the... Uh, the chest, we can just get teleported to some random spot, and that can be really helpful for us. Could get us really close to the boss, could get us kind of close, could do a whole lot of stuff, so that's our plan. We'll hold on to that for now. The ultimate plan is to get uh, an Emperor card so we can just peace out, but we'll see how that goes. There we go. Perfect. We're in a real good spot now. We have every way that we need to create HP. In every single way. It's, it's just so nice. So yeah, really easy run. Quite fun. I had a really good I'm having a really good time with this run. It's kinda refreshing when Isaac just kinda says, you know what, you can just have this one. I'm good. Even better, I'm going to use blank card a couple times the here. The Hierophant. Just in case. We have an HP bank in there. Left hand hasn't given us any guppy items yet, but it could. We did get Pandora's box on the last floor of the before the, before the womb. It was nice. Maybe it was the second to last floor, I can't remember. Don't want to step on this creep. I did see it this time. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. This is one of the weirdest rooms I've ever seen. Let's go this way. For HP bank in here. Huh. The high I'm used to wasting the charge. Might as well put some HP places where we can come back for it if we need it. Where is the boss? Do we just go completely the wrong direction? Like, I mean, I guess so. This is also. I, I, I think I detest Curse of the Lost more than any other curse, even Curse of the Blind. It's just so annoying and frustrating, unless you have perfect spatial memory. And I think mine's pretty good. Uh, it's it's nearly impossible to get where you, where you need to go. That one was free. So again, we have so much HP around here. Shit, the nickel drop. When we absolutely don't need it. Fred, again, one of the easiest bosses in the game. I think we got him last run. I didn't mean to take that hit there. Um. Hmm. I mean, the safe answer is don't take this. So we're guaranteed one more devil deal, but it's probably Krampus. That's the problem. So, yeah. Curse the blind, of course. Speak the devil and he shall appear. Hate this room. But I'm gonna poison everything here. Get some HP back. Ooh. Half red, half demon heart. Second time I've ever seen that. First time was on the channel at some point. Can't remember when. Could use the hermit card. Take us somewhere random. I was. I should have been using that in the cursed rooms when I go in to get out for free, but. No big deal. Because using the the higher fan card is essentially the same thing. Except we get one HP back, so never mind, it's even better. That was the better play. Uh boss room's probably nope, not this way. I can see it, but again, Isaac's kinda tricky. He likes to, the game likes to fake you out, be like, oh it's down, but you have to go left first to go down. 
Okay, there we go. We're able to find the boss room. Another reason I didn't take the Red Heart HP is because even if we do get a Devil Deal here, um, we have a we have the ample HP chilling out here. Go. Poison everything here. Let's keep a meat. Go in there again. Let's keep a meat. And there's no reason not to have every chance of restoring our HP. Not a Krampus. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, little harbingers. Well, with this much HP, I'm not even gonna worry about it. Let's head on up. Alrighty. It's the unknown. I know we have full HP, so. This is another case of it's probably we have to go right or down before we go right. Isaac maps are so odd. I could use the, um, I could use the Hermit card with blank card, but it looks like we're going the right way. I want to drop the left hand. Yeah, I'm going to drop the left hand right now, actually. I don't want to have the left hand when we go into the chest, because then we'll forfeit a bunch of golden chests the last thing we want to do. Thank you, Compass, for helping me out here. I appreciate it. Okay. Go fight Isaac. I'm just gonna run in. I have no reason not to use Cuban Me here. Use a poor invincibility. How did I get hit again? It was past me. That's ridiculous. I can't believe I did. Once more. Okay, let's head on to the chest. Easy win today. Hope you're enjoying it. If you did enjoy the video here, please leave a like. It doesn't cost anything. It's real easy. Uh, if you want to join the Nap Fam, please hit the subscribe button. I have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go higher fan first. And I'll use the. I'll use the. Uh, Hermit card with blank card, as soon as we get a full charge. A couple rooms. Or if we hit a dead end, like this. I'll probably use the Hermit card with blank card once. If it takes us close, don't worry about it, but then if not, I'll just use it again. If it doesn't take us the right direction, I'll just use it one more time. So this is the kind of map logic I was talking about. Look at this map. need to go southwest, so you think that you need to go west first, but no, it's just straight up south first. I guess that kind of makes sense, but typically, uh, I don't know, it, it's just weird. Use the Hermit card here, blank card. It did take us somewhere close. That's excellent. Perfect. Mob the Void's ping out very well for us. Really helping us out. Quite a bit. Uh, up, probably. No, see? Looks like that's in, that's in a perfectly straight line, but it's not. We need to go south before we go west. Even though it's directly west of us. That's the kind of map logic there is. I think it's so odd. Makes the game more interesting, I suppose. Got all this money just for fun. We could use the Hermit card again, but it could take us to a completely wrong room. It could take us to a dead end on the other side of the map, so I don't really want to do that. Okay. Plus, I want to have a full charge for uh, a Hierophant card right before we go into Isaac, so we can have four soul hearts in the room. Go. And it's just it's just too easy at this point. But honestly, this is these runs almost don't feel fun, but the fact that I'm doing it for a streak and doing it for YouTube makes it more exciting, for sure. Um, 
But at the same time, it's like, well, it's not like I was really doing anything either. I was just, I don't know. It, it just feels like I'm kind of comping out here. But that's okay. I like an easy win. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Love easy wins, especially when a streak is on the line, especially when we're going for our 20 streak, our first 20 streak in the YouTube channel. So thank you everybody again. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much.